Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I was tagged by Keelan Rivers to do the writing favorites tag, which was originally created by Hey Jazz Little and Emily Bourne. So without further ado, let's get started. Question number one is what is your favorite POV to write in? My favorite POV to write in is first person. It's just what I've done. I've written all three of my novels in first person and um, I wrote my obviously my um, nonfiction book I wrote it in second person POV but I'm more I'm mostly comfortable with first person POV even though I know that that is a um, usually done in YA and I don't write YA I write um, adult. Um, I don't know, I'm just comfortable writing in that POV. Question number two is what is your favorite genre to read and does it differ from what you write? And the answer is yes. I like reading nonfiction. I'm all about self-help and self-care and mindset and just believing in oneself. So I constantly read personal development books, nonfiction books. Question number three, favorite time a day to write. I actually don't have a favorite time of day to write, though I am a total morning and day person. The minute the sun goes down, I'm kind of like, I check out. Um, I have been known to write a lot at night when I am inspired, um, but basically I write when I feel like writing. And yeah, it's I don't have a favorite time to write. I really just write when I'm inspired. Question number four, what is your favorite workspace to work in on your current WIP? And for me, that is usually on the couch. I don't like writing in my office. I do all my work here, but actual writing, I don't like sitting at my desk. I either do it from my bed or I do it from my couch. Number five, favorite drink or snack while you write. Um, I don't usually snack when I'm writing. It's not something I've ever done. Um, if I do have a drink, it'll either be water or if it's um, midday or something like that, I'll have a cup of coffee. I do like drinking coffee, but it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with writing. It just has to do with that. It's that time of day to have my cup of coffee, but I usually have a cup of water because I do get thirsty all the time and I only usually drink water. Um, on the occasional mornings, I might drink orange juice, but you know, I'm all about water. Question number six is what is your favorite idea that you've yet to start drafting? Um, I don't have anything new that I haven't started drafting yet. Um, everything that I've had an idea for, I've started to draft. So that's my answer. Question number seven is what is your favorite advice or tip that you've received in your writing journey? And, um, it came from my editor and her advice to me or her tip to me after I was feeling bad after all the editing that she had to do was um, all writers need to be edited. And that made me feel really good because I realized that my job was to write, not edit. That is the editor's job. So I really love that and it encourages me when I'm writing and if I get feedback back from the editor, I don't feel bad because I know that I am a writer, not an editor, and although I do my best to have a clean manuscript, it's inevitable that editing will have to be done. Question number eight, what is your favorite way to get feedback on your work? Is it betas, PC, your friends, your family? For me, I love getting feedback from readers. So I'm interested in the way they um, see the book because that is my target audience. Um, it's no offense, it's not necessarily writers that I'm after, it's actual readers. So if you're a reader of the book that I am writing, that is what I am interested in. Um, that's why it's so important to, when you're seeking your uh, betas, that they are interested in the type of book that you were writing, because if not, then they may give you feedback that actually doesn't um, serve you because you're going to try to please a group of people that don't read your book. So that for me is anybody who is actual reader and interested in the type of book that I am writing. And question number nine is what is your favorite way to take a break from writing? Um, my favorite way to take a break from writing is just spending time with my family. Again, I don't force writing. I believe in seasons. I said this in an Instagram post that I did recently. Um, I'm not doing a lot of writing right now because I am in a 
transition. I am in a different season of my life. Um, I spent most of the year writing my novel and editing and perfecting it to for the agent and it is now in the agent's hands. So I can't, even though I'm trying to write another book, it's hard for me to focus on that book because I want to see this other novel to its com completion. I want to see what happens with it. So my mind is, my energy is split between you know, creating the new course that I'm creating and waiting to see what happens with this novel that I've written and that I've edited and that is waiting to see if it, you know, goes further with the agents and getting um, traditionally published. So I don't, I'm, I'm just split right now. So it's okay that I'm not writing. I know that I will write again. I will write a new novel. And when that time comes, I'll just do it when I feel like it, like I always do, and I usually finish it within three months, at least the first draft I do anyway. All right, you guys, that was the tag. I hope that you enjoyed it, and now I am going to tag each and every one of you who want to do the tag. I don't want to tag anyone specifically, if I understand this correctly. I think the tag is a little bit old, so I'm not sure of who's done it and who's been tagged, so I don't want to double tag. But if you haven't done it and you want to do it, I encourage you to do it. I'd love to see it. Make sure that you tag me. Tag me on Instagram if you do it because that's where I'm mostly at. I don't hang out on Twitter too much. That's why I kind of missed this tag when it was first put up because I don't usually do Twitter too much. So anyway, if you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. I post weekly videos and yeah, until next time, you guys stay safe.